Hello and welcome to this week's Class Tire Top 5. It is the week of March 28th, 2019. I'm Christina Reese. Good night, Brandon Zach. And we are counting down the top five art events in Texas this week. We are at Moody Gallery in Houston right now. It's probably one of our picks. More on that in a minute. So number five on our list this week is called Symphony of Color. It is at the International Museum of Art and Science in McAllen, Texas. Um, you Brandon, wrote about this, please. Yeah, I wrote about this this last week. We saw this show a few weeks ago when we were down uh, taking a trip through the valley. This is a really charming show. It's a bunch of instruments that have been beaded with beads and wax by the um, Wierita people. And an indigenous people in Mexico who specialize in beading and yarn work. And they have taken, they have done this gorgeous bead work over all of these instruments. The kinds of instruments that you would find in a contemporary music shop. Guitars and dr drums and Mongos and violas. And but then some things like tubas and accordions. Yes. <laughs> and it, the, the most amazing thing about this show is the intricacy of the beadwork. They're amazing craftsmen. Yeah, it's really gorgeous. These are stunning pieces, the way that they've transformed these instruments. The instruments are no longer playable now that they've been beaded. However, there is a recording of a song that plays uh, throughout the gallery that was recorded with these instruments prior to them being beaded. Um, and that's just kind of another plus of the show. Anyway, that show is up through, uh, I think, early June, so you yeah. got some time to see it. Number four this week is a show of works by Lance Lesher. Uh, it's a show called Flowers at Stephen L. Clark Gallery in Austin, Texas. Uh, this is a space that, I don't know about you, but I wasn't that familiar with. Uh, but we're definitely familiar with Lance Lesher. Sure, he's an Austin-based artist, well-known collage artist, great, good, tough, rigorous, beautiful collage work. This show is called Flowers. There are flowers in every single one of these collages, although it's there's nothing particularly cloying or fun about it. It's just a good springtime show. Yeah, it's up through April, and I mean, if you've ever seen any of Lance's collages, he's a, I mean, this is such an overused phrase, but he's really a master of the medium, like, in whatever he is using, be it actual collage or metal, or he just knows what to do and what aesthetically works together, so of course, this is a great show. So number three on our list is a twofer. It's uh, two different solo shows at Road to Art in Dallas. One is Jillian Bradshaw Smith, one is Scott Winterow. Jillian Bradshaw Smith, a veteran uh, Dallas artist. She actually has done a lot of set design and theatrical set work. Uh, but these are pastel on paper, but she's folded and bent. And there's more collage, more collage this week. Um, so it's just a kind of a masterful use of paper with pastel. They're sort of like the, I would say that they're surreal sort of landscape, near landscape, semi-landscape. And speaking of landscape, Scott Winterode is this fantastic watercolor painter. These are his, um, these are his state park landscape paintings, mostly some celestial ones as well. I can speak for these. They're beautiful. I love his paintings. So number two on our list is, well, we're here at Moody Gallery. This is kind of a capsule show of uh, Luis Jimenez work from, I would say, early 70s up through the 90s. Mm -hmm. We've got sculpture, drawings, maquettes. Lithographs. <sighs> you have some large scale drawings. His drawings, I can't ever look at a Luis Jimenez drawing and not love it. Just the way he's mark making, there's there's something that's distinctly him. Oh my gosh, these are so luscious. I it's just truly one of my very favorite artists. Period. So to get to walk into a room, even an intimate room like this one, to see a selection of his work, really strong pieces, is just a treat. It's open now. It's kind of um, in the spirit of the spring of Latino art, which is happening. Uh, Basically, this entire spring in Houston, in conjunction with the Latino Art Now conference mm -hmm. that's happening early April, um, you know, some galleries are official participating spaces, some are just kind of putting up shows by Latinx artists in the spirit of the celebration. That's right. So this is one of those, and it's on view through April here at Moody Gallery. And number one this week is a show at Heidi Vaughn Fine Art by Hillebrand and Magsaman. It's a show called The Devices Project. So this exhibition is kind of pulled out of a performance that Hillebrand and Magsaman did at Match uh, through Diverse Works in Houston. It's a show of photographs, sculptures, uh, a lot of photographs of situations that the two of them kind of put each other or put themselves into using household objects and kind of manipulating them. It's very photo shooty on black backgrounds. The show has their typical humor and wit that you would expect, but it's a little 
less colorful than their other shows. It's maybe a little more serious and photogenic. More severe. severe, that's a really good word. Mm -hmm. Well, they do work about their family. It's Hillebrand and Maximin, Stefan Hillebrand and Mary Maximin. They incorporate their children into their work and the kids were in the performance as well. And the kids are present in this series, but it almost seems like this series is about the kids getting a little older and maybe mm. the kids starting to bring ideas into the work themselves. So the work changes mm. in a really interesting and great way. This show is on you through this weekend, so if you haven't seen it, this is kind of your last chance, but it's really worth the visit. All right, so with that, go see some art. Go see some art.